So first, we have 694 times 34. So on our first answer line, we're going to multiply 694 by 4. Then, on our second answer line, we're going to multiply 694 by the 3 that's in our tens. And because it's in our tens, we're going to write a 0 as the 1's digit of our second answer line. Then, we're going to add up our answer lines to get our answer. So first, we start by multiplying the digits in our 1's. 4 times 4 is 16, but that's a 2 digit number. So we need to write 16 as 1, 6. So with the first digit above the next place value column along. Now we can move across and multiply 9 by 4. That's 36, but we need to remember to add the one that's on top. So 36 plus 1 is 37. Again, we have a two digit number, so we need to write that 3, 7. Now we have 6 times 4, which is 24, but we need to add 3, and 24 plus 3 is 27. We don't have any more digits to the left, so although it's a two digit number, we can just write the 27 in our answer line. So now we've multiplied by the four digit, so we could cross this out if it makes it easier for us. What we do need to remember to cross out is our working above. We also need to remember that because this three is in our tens, we need a zero in the ones digit, so at the end of our second answer line. Now, 4 times 3 is 12, that's a 2 digit number, so we write 12 as 1, 2. So with the first digit above the next digit that we're going to multiply. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28, so that's 2, 8. Again, with the first digit above the next digit that we're going to multiply. And now, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 2 is 20. We don't have any more digits to multiply, so we can just write the 20 in our answer line. So now we need to add up our answers. 6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 2 is 9, 7 plus 8 is 15, so 1, 5, 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3, and nothing plus 2 is 2. So our answer to 694 times 34 is 23,000 596. So now we have 785 times 23. 5 times 3 is 15, so that's 1, 5. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25, so that's 2, 5. And now 7 times 3 is 21, plus 2 is 23, and we've got to the end so we can just write 23 in our answer line. Now we need to remember to cross out our working and write a zero at the end of our second answer line. Five times two is 10, so one zero. Eight times two is 16, plus one is 17, so that's one seven, again with the first digit above the next digit that we're going to multiply. Seven times two is 14, plus 1 is 15, and we don't have anything else to multiply, so we can write the 15 in our answer line. 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 7 is 10, so 1, 0, 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8, and nothing plus 1 is 1, so our answer is 18,055. Now, let's try 678 times 54. 8 times 4 is 32, so 3, 2. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 3 is 31, so 3, 1. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 3 is 27, and we don't have anything else to multiply on the left, so we can write the 27 in our answer line. Now we need to remember to cross out our working and write a zero as the ones digit of our second answer line. Eight times five is 40, so that's four zero, with the four above the next digit that we're going to multiply. And it's important also to remember that we got this zero here by multiplying eight by five. 
So we need to write this zero. We can't think that because it already has a zero here that we just need to write the four. We need to do eight times five. And if the answer ends in a zero, we need to write the zero in our answer line. So now seven times five is 35 plus four is 39. So three, nine. Six times five is 30 plus three is 33. So now we just add up our answer lines and that gives us 36,612.